Why are cities overwhelmingly left-wing? And why does this political divide between urban and rural places appear in nearly every developed country in the world? No matter where you look in America, the most stunning political divide isn't between blue states and red states, it's between blue cities and red countryside. Major cities like New York, Chicago, Minneapolis, and San Francisco are known for their progressive policies and strong democratic support. But once you venture out of these liberal bastions, the countryside around these urban cores tends to be a lot more conservative. And while the urban-rural political divide is famous for producing extremely divided politics in the U.S., it's worth noting that this isn't a uniquely American phenomenon. This divide is also present in places like Canada, where Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal all lean left, while rural areas in Ontario and the Canadian prairie trend right. In the UK, we can find the exact same thing. Urban centers like London and Manchester are strongholds for the Labour Party, while rural regions in England and Wales regularly vote for the Conservative Party. Incredibly, we see this exact same divide all over the world. Hungary, Brazil, Argentina, and Spain all have a clear divide between their left-leaning urban centers and right-leaning countryside. Now, several reasons have been put forward to explain why this is, many of which have been proposed by the left themselves. This includes everything from the argument that cities are filled with young, educated workers who usually hold left-wing views, to the theory that urban areas prioritize government intervention due to the need for more public services or social welfare programs, all the way to the fact that many urban centers are diverse melting pots that serve as hotbeds for globalization. But there's a problem with each of these points. For starters, even aging urban areas that are in a complete state of decay tend to still vote for the Democrats, Liberals, or Labor Party. Meanwhile, other places like Manhattan and Silicon Valley are just as left-wing, despite the fact that they're incredibly rich. Interestingly enough, there are exceptions to the rule beginning to emerge. Take South Korea, for instance. In their 2022 presidential election, Seoul, the bustling capital city, did something unexpected. It shocked the country by voting for the right, delivering the country's leading conservative party enough votes to swing the entire election. Why? Well, it turns out that decades of left-wing control over Seoul crumbled in just a few years. A major housing crisis combined with divisive identity politics led to a massive political backlash among urban voters, especially with young men under the age of 30. And what happened in South Korea shows that cities are not locked into one political direction forever. And it's not just South Korea. Even in the US, during the 2020 elections, cities like Miami, Houston, Los Angeles, and New York actually saw a shift to the right, and here are the maps to prove it. Ultimately, it is no surprise that urban centers would be more liberal in a classical sense. Greater exposure to various cultures and ideas usually breeds greater sympathy for new ideas, and that can be a great thing, but only if the ideas themselves are good ones. And at least in some of these urban centers, people are beginning to question whether or not the latest in left-wing ideology is really conducive to a prosperous, safe and unified society.